how much unnecessary meetings really cost to try to help companies reconsider how time is spent by getting rid of just three meetings a week per person. Shopify found that a company can save 15% in overall costs. Let's bring in Jessica Kriegel. She is the chief scientist of workplace culture at Culture Partners. Jessica, good morning. Thanks for being with us. So how, first of all, how did we get here? How did we get to this place of so many meetings? Oh, it's terrible. We went into COVID. We lost the ability to run into each other in the hallway. And so we went into meeting overload mode where suddenly we had to have a meeting every single minute of the day in order to stay connected. And what it's done is it's burned people out. And it is not the effective way to actually build personal connection and keep the culture alive. I mean, I've had days where I'm on Zoom calls back to back from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And mm. I would imagine many of your viewers have times where they join a Zoom call and the first thing someone says is, oh, hold on, I got to go take a bio break. It's because we're overloaded. And I love what the Shopify CEO is doing. So what should a manager watching this, what's the first step if you think, I mean, okay, maybe I don't enjoy meetings as much either, but, you know, things have to be communicated. What's the first step in de determining where you can cut back on some of these meetings? Well, I think it's time for a meeting apocalypse. What if we took every single recurring meeting, every single meeting on our calendar for the next month and just wiped it out? Then we could thoughtfully, intentionally add the meetings back that were actually worth it. That's what we need to do because right now we don't even realize how overloaded we are. It's become the norm. One of the things I'm doing is the second tip is every time someone sends me an email asking for a meeting, I'm just going to respond with just call myself. So many of these 30 minute calls could just be a simple casual conversation, which is really where that interpersonal connection and empathy is found anyway. I think it's important to, to point out that Spotify is a tech company, right? And so we do tend to see the tech companies sort of lean into making their corporate culture a bit more relaxed. But do you think that traditional companies could also benefit from maybe cooling it a little bit on the meetings? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's interesting. We're releasing our state of culture report this week, and we found that across industry, executives have a much higher view of their culture than individual contributors and even managers, which means there's something disconnected. And a lot of that has to do with the daily crash of meetings and calls nonstop being on the phone. So executives need to be aware of what is burning out their employees and how they can up those numbers in order to create a better environment to drive more results. Yeah. Jessica, Jessica Kriegel, look, I would love to sit here and chat with you more, but I actually have to get ready to jump on a meeting. So uh, we're going to end it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to end it here. But this was great food for thought, hopefully, for a lot of people watching. Jessica, thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. All right. Turning overseas now. India just launched a mission to the moon. Four, three.